Hi friends, today we are making bar graphs. And um, we use a bar graph for the same reasons that we might use a pictograph or the same reasons we use a circle graph. We use these, re these graphs because it allows us to look at data or information and to compare it. So there's lots of graphs that we might see in different places. Today we're really focusing on um, how to make a bar graph. Now, first of all, when um, we make a bar graph, we need to figure out what we want to graph. And there's lots of things we can graph. We could go around and ask our family members what's their favorite type of ice cream, what's their favorite type of snack, and we can graph that information. We could um, take a poll of all of our classmates and ask them their favorite colors. We could um, take um, a, a poll of the people that are in our neighborhood and how many have um, blue houses and how many have white houses, and we can do that. We can um, make a list of all of the people that we know and um, write down the type of pets they have. And so maybe we have six friends and we write them down and three of my friends have dogs and two of them have cats. One has a bird. I can make a graph that way. We can make a graph of using our books. Maybe I look at my book and I see that, hey, this page has three dinosaurs on it, two pigs and a cow. It's weird, but maybe that's what it has. I can graph one sim simple picture from a book and it will allow me to show what I know and look at the information and then compare it to the other information. So today what we're going to do is we're going to make a graph and um, I want to show you the things that I want you to be really careful to not do before we go and look at a good graph. Okay. So the first thing is um, I'm going to show you what we're going to graph today. So I love animals and I love things that are funny. So we are going to graph the type of animals that came up when I just typed in funny animal pictures for kids. Right? I said we could basically graph anything. So that's what we're going to do. And let's say this is what I'm going to graph. And now I'm going to make my graph. So maybe, oh, sorry, the first thing I want to do is write a title for my graph. And... I wrote the word funny. Does that tell you what this graph is about? No, that's a terrible title because it doesn't tell you that I'm graphing the different types of animals that are in funny pictures. Um, and so this title needs to be changed. And I could say the types, spell it right, types of funny animals. And this should be capital because important words in a title need capital. Animals in images. All right. So the next part is um, I need to make my graph. And when I make a graph, it's really important that the spaces for my numbers are pretty much the same size. Imagine this. Let's say that there are three dogs and one cat that are in funny images. If I were to color in my graph, I said that there was three dogs. Well, that doesn't help when my marker doesn't work. All right, three dogs. So I'm gonna go the whole way to three. One, two, three. And now I'm gonna say that there was one cat. And I'm just gonna go the whole way It looks like there, that there's a lot of cats because this space is so big that it looks like there was half as many cats as there were dogs. But we know that that's not true because there's three dogs and just one cat. So if I were to do this correctly, I would have my spaces be the same size. Now, when I mark that there's three dogs and that there's one cat, we can see that there's quite a bit more dogs than there are cats. So it's really important when you make your bar graph 
the spaces here are pretty close, as close as you can get them to being the right size. Okay, step two. Once I have my spaces the right size, I'm going to then put my numbers in. I'm going to make sure that every space has a number. We don't want to skip a number because that would mess us up. We don't want to be messed up. Now, I've got to gather my data. So let's go to my funny images. And we're going to count how many dogs are in these images. I'm going to go straight across because I don't want to miscount. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think that's a puppy, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 dogs in these pictures. So I'm going to write dogs and I'm going to color all the way up to the number 12. I stop there because that's including the number 12 because there are 12 dogs. Now, the next part, let's count the next type of animal. Um, let's see. Okay, giraffe is next. Um, yeah, there's one giraffe. So I'm going to write giraffe. And there's one. So one. And now they're penguins. There are two penguins. This is pretty easy, right? Oh, penguins. And there are two. Okay, what other animals are there? Let's see. There's a panda bear. And there are two panda bears. It looks like it's the exact same image. And I'm still going to count two because when I asked for funny animal pictures for kids and I decided I was going to use this screen, there are two pandas, so I'm going to count it as two pandas. Now, I could argue either way, to be honest, but we're going to count it as two. And there are two. Now, we're going, oh, that's hard to see, isn't it? Let's try a different one. Now let's look and see what our other animals ha we have. A pig! And there's only one pig. And there's one pig. Wow, dogs are really winning. And we can tell that because look at our bar graph. It's way longer than the other ones. Um, let's see. Next is a cat. One cat, two cats, three cats. There are three cats. And we have, oh, <laughs> three cats, sorry. Um, after the cat, there is a seal. So I need to make a seal spot. And there's just one seal. Then, of course, we can't forget, the next one is going to be our hippopotamus. So we have a hippopotamus, an owl, and a squirrel. I'm going to put all of those on my chart. Ooh, we ran out of room. I better add to it. Hippo, squirrel, and owl. And there's one of each. So one hippo, one squirrel, oops, and one owl. And that's it. So there's my graph. Now, what do I use my graph for? I can say, hey, which animal appears in the most funny images when I type in funny um, animal pics? It's the dog, because dogs are adorable and they're hysterical. So clearly the dog is the winner. 
I'm kind of surprised that there's a giraffe. And that's interesting that there's a hippo and a squirrel in these images. The ones that there's the least of, again, I can look at my graph. A giraffe, a pig, a seal, a hippo, a squirrel, and an owl. I find it interesting that there are so many different types of animals that appear in funny images for kids. I kind of thought that there would be a lot more pictures of cats. But when I look at my graph, I see that there's only three. That's interesting. And I noticed that there's two penguins. Again, that's interesting that penguins have appeared on here. So I can use my graph, I can look at it, and now I can say, hey, clearly dogs are a favorite of funny animals. And that there's also a whole bunch of animals that can be funny if we keep looking. That's all we need to do for our bar graph. Make sure we have spacing that's pretty much the same. Give yourself a good title something that it tells your um, reader, the reader of the graph, what they're looking at, and then tell me all of the different things that you're recording the information for. Then, of course, you got to complete the bar graph. So pick a topic. I don't care. Hand draw a bar graph for me. And um, there's also a couple pages in the book. But just do, you know, whatever's interesting to you. I don't care what the topic is, but give me something that you can graph.